this is an application for performing electronic music. And the idea is that um, we can grab different audio tracks from over here and uh, pick a sample from each one. So this is the kick drum. And the distance between each object and the microphone controls the volume of that track. So now you hear the kick drum. And we can uh, go through here and select other tracks. And each of these tracks is different um, for variations. We can select by moving along these uh, arcs. And we can keep selecting. objects can be dynamically assigned by, uh, you know, just moving it over here. So if I want this to be percussion, I just put it on top of uh, that object, and now it represents percussion. Um, but it, it's, the way it works technically is each of the objects has a different digital ID, and then the computer, you know, remembers what the, um, in software, what the assignment of that digital ID is in, in the context of a particular application. And so, for example, the, uh, the ID for the microphone and, um, and the selector clock, this one, 
are hard coded in software. So you can give those objects a different physical form. Um, we haven't done that here because we're showing two different applications and we can sort of switch back and forth. How fast is this? I mean, do we have any complexity from the timing point? <coughs> How fast is it? Yeah. I mean, um, well, is the, it searching the board database for the IT or do you have also done something? Oh, in terms of the, the board IDs, it's, there's no complexity <coughs> issue there at all because um, in general, you don't want to have too many tags on the table because you know the human hands are going to interact with that. If it's too crowded, then that becomes a difficult task. So, um, in terms of uh, the, the process of looking up IDs from the database, is much much faster than the process of physically interacting. Each one of them has a different ID when it picks up. Yes. Each one of them has different IDs. Yes. How do you differentiate that? They all look similar. Things. Um, so uh, each one has a low power microcontroller inside. Okay, each one. Yeah, and when that microcontroller is programmed, it's assigned. A, a, a. So each one is this is table is something special or some? Yes, like there's a yeah. circuit there's inside a, the table. Actually, there's a matrix over there, right? Yes. Every uh, this uh, data coordinates of these things, and through this one, a transmitter of low power transmitter is transmitted. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Which which transmitter? Uh, there's a transmitter inside each object. Okay, okay. And that is a transceiver there. It talks to this. That is connected to Ethernet. Uh, yeah. USB. It can be. Okay, Ethernet, yes, USB. Okay. Yeah. What's the application of this other than this one? Do you find any other applications? Uh, so we've uh, used it for visualizing business supply chains, uh, visualizing financial data, uh, coordinating emergency response for, um, you know, like in a city sort of. Uh, coordinating where different emergency vehicles will go, uh, coordinating repair crews um, for the electrical grid in New York City, um, planning where to drill oil wells, those are uh, an application for uh, Slumberger, laying out furniture, like say in an office building, figuring out traffic flow, that kind of thing. Those yeah, are things. Things also to be high the yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We haven't done that. What's the cost of this implementation? Uh, the most expensive item right now is the video projector. Um, you know, there's nothing terribly fancy about it. It's it's a bunch of uh, circuit boards with pretty similar. So this one you have custom made, or this can be used? We aren't producing them in volume. Um, we're we're custom making each one right now. Hopefully that'll change. Thank you very much.